Do you know who this guy right here is? Yeah, this, this guy right here. Of course you do. Everybody knows Joseph, right? But what else do you really know about him? Well, maybe not that much because, honestly, not that much is written about him in the New Testament. But what we do know about this oftentimes forgotten father is a shining example we should all hope to follow. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, everybody. It's Monday morning. Here we go. Hey, good Monday morning, everybody. And as always, wherever you are today, hope you're having a fantastic day. All right, so let's dive in. Today, what I want you to do, I want you to put yourself into Joseph's shoes, or in his case, his sandals, because, you know, they didn't have shoes back then. You're a man of modest means, but you're a very skilled carpenter and generally well-respected within your community. You're seen as an honorable and faithful man. You're a man of strong convictions uh, in keeping with the laws of Judaism. You always strive to do the right thing and to do it the right way. Seems almost too good to be true, doesn't it? And then one day you come home and your fiancé says, Hey, guess what? I'm pregnant. <laughs> Yes, and since you have not yet known her in the biblical sense, you realize there's no way this child could be yours. Mm. I wonder, what would your response be if, God forbid, you had that same situation? Yikes. Well, because Joseph is an honorable man, he knows he needs to break off the engagement, but he's determined to do it in a way that will not bring shame to Mary. Because, you see, he wanted to do the right thing because he still loved her. And he really had great respect for her character, even though this whole story of her being impregnated by God's Holy Spirit was understandably a little too difficult for him to wrap his arms around. Yeah, I think we can relate. But before Joseph can break off the engagement, he is visited by a messenger from God who confirms Mary's story. All right, so once Joseph is convinced that Mary has not been unfaithful, he's further instructed to marry her and to honor her virginity, meaning no sex for you, Jojo. <laughs> Holy cow, can you imagine? So what do you think Joseph did? Well, you know what Joseph did. He obeyed the Lord. But can you imagine how difficult this must have been for him? I mean, think about it. Here's a guy who's strong in the faith. He has character and integrity out the wazoo. He always tries to do everything the right way, and yet he's thrust into a horrible, seemingly horrible situation that he never asked for, and I would say that none of us would ever ask for. But maybe it's exactly because of the kind of person Joseph was that God chose him for such an important role. All right, so what's the takeaway? During this holiday season, Let's not lose sight of the tremendous example that Joseph set for all of us, but especially those of us who are fathers or hope to be fathers one day. You know, the bottom line is this. Joseph showed us that the stronger your faith, character, and integrity are, the more successful you're going to be at handling anything that God gives you. Now, I can tell you, coming from the back nine of life, with reasonable certainty that at some point God is going to put you in a situation, just like he did with Joseph, that absolutely, positively makes no sense whatsoever. He may even make you look bad in your own community. And so I have to wonder, how are you going to handle it? Well, in Joseph, we have a shining example of integrity, obedience, faithfulness. And because of his faithfulness, God gave Joseph everything he needed to rise above his circumstances to become the loving protector, provider, and early teacher of the child who ended up being our Savior. I hope you will remember, he's willing to do the same for you and me. All right, friends and neighbors, that's a wrap for today. And as always, I pray that the Lord of peace himself will give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. This week, I want you to stay strong, keep the faith, come back and see us again next Monday morning. Bye now. <laughs>